We also get asked at the treatment center another question, why is recidivism or why is relapse such a, have a high prevalence among addicts and alcoholics? And why do people frequently have to uh, go through detox, a rehab, treatment, maybe even enter a fellowship, do some 12 steps, and then after a time, uh, they go back to the addiction, even though after they've seen time and time again the devastating results of entertaining that addiction time in and time again. Um, that question, is a deeper question. There's a lot of controversy, a lot of mixed opinions. I'll just share with you mine. Um, it was found back in the 1930s through Bill Wilson and Dr. Bob Smith, the co-founders of Alcoholics Anonymous, as well as the first hundred who wrote the uh, big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, that this disease was a little different. This issue was a little different than other illnesses and problems and plagues that, uh, that, that pestered humankind and that they discovered that this disease not only had a mental and a physical aspect through which many people try over and over by changing their people, places and things and, and taking a little bit of bipolar medicine and doing a, a little bit of couples counseling and anger management and people try all these things and still can't overcome the addiction and, and the co-founders of Alcoholics Anonymous had the same exact uh, history of trying everything everything, everything, and nothing worked. But what they did is they stumbled upon this Oxford group and they learned there was also another aspect of this illness, this disease, and it presented itself a little bit unseen, kind of like the bottom part of an iceberg. And it was the spiritual malady of the disease. And once they discovered the spiritual malady, and accepted a spiritual solution for the problem which was introduced to them in the Oxford group, they found that the alcoholism finally stopped. All the physical and mental issues got better once the spiritual malady was overcome. And that's written on page 64 of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. And a lot of people come to us and they're either closed-minded or unwilling to look at this third leg of the disease which is the spiritual leg. And it may be due to prejudices, it may be due to resentments, it may be due to past hurts, it may be due to pride, it may be due to a million things. One of the th very important uh, principles of the 12 steps is to explore those issues deep inside and by exploring those issues we remove the obstacles from accepting a spiritual solution because now in 2011 there is absolutely no doubt that this 12 step program works. It's all over the world. Many other people with other problems have adopted the same 12 steps which are spiritual action, spiritual principles in nature. Okay, and then many other dozens of fellowships have sprung out and grown throughout the world and there's absolutely no question today that the 12 steps uh, originating in Alcoholics Anonymous has literally saved millions of people's lives.